This is not going to be for a champagne one. This will be for around the world. This is a beautiful bottle of wine. So many wines, so little time. Another rotor. Okay, I'm going for it. We're buying some nice wines. Is there a good selection? Yeah, there's a nice selection. They're not grouped as these are Blanc de Blancs, these are Blanc de Noirs. How are they grouped? By producer? By producer, yeah. I'm buying lots of things here. Awesome. And what are those? This is a Paul Roger, which is one of my favorite producers. What's your budget, uh, honey? I don't know. One thousand one hundred. <laughs> don't know. I think it counts as part of your birthday budget, so uh -huh. go all out trying to look for things that would be widely available. Oh. But who knows? You're buying that one? A rosé, yeah. There's a nice rosé from Alsace too, isn't there? A Cremant? Yeah, we're going to do, do those yeah. at a separate time. I'm going to look, see if they have any demi-sec, which is off-dry, something somewhat sweet. That's excellent. Yeah, and, and I just have a bottle of that, but I'm looking for Cremant de Bourgogne. Oh, de Bourgogne? I might have La Pierre. I, I saw a case. Um, I may be out of that. Let me check my computer. Okay, great. Sparkling Grunewald in it. That'll be fun to taste. I should probably get a Cava. I'm not keen on Cava, but I'll get one. I think I saw one over here. Okay. My hand's getting tarted. Okay. One Prosecco. Which one is it? I don't know, honey, but yeah. three of them. They're all the same price. Oh, great. Thank you. Just outstanding. Wonderful. Okay. So I have an interesting observation for you guys. Okay. Uh, I bought, we bought a couple bottles of uh, Etna Rosso. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. And so I went, came back and I bought a case. And the cases had odd bottle variation in that um, most of the bottles, or about half the bottles, are pure, almost Pinot-like, no oak. Right. Right? Okay. And other bottles I've popped open, and there's been a shitty toasty oak on it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and bizarre. Yes. I, I've, I've come across that, and I actually, I bought a case of that Rofosco, uh -huh. and uh, almost the same thing. It's juicy, delicious, great. I mean, they're not bad, but they were just complete variation on those. Yeah. And I'm like, well, they're still, they were very pleasant. I liked them. I finished the case. Yeah. But I'm like, it, the, that first bottle was just stunning. But yeah, it's, it's strange how some bottle variations take place, and I don't know why. Or... When I started out in this business a long time ago, they, I was always told that per a case of wine, there's always at least one or two bottles of variation. Right. I don't know what that is, or you know, it could be older, it could be bad the, oak, or... Yeah, the, the, usually when you get bottle variation, it's a lot of times it's either different points of the bottling line, or minimal cork. Right, so you can go and open up a case of wine. That, yeah, that's absolutely true. Yeah, cork, cork does do a, a right. lot to it. Either it affects it, taints it, whatever. Right. You know. But the business of no oak. Yeah, oak. I know. I, I, yeah, it's a strange one. Yeah. But thanks for your help. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of focus on the bed. Have you heard this? I haven't had that one. It's kind of like a newer item, so okay. I haven't tried it either. It's her, I, I was there Where? about a year ago in oh, Trentino, oh. and it was stunning. And the wines age beautifully. Circle swirling in a moment, we'll have your total. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice seeing you. See, the line for the total before it comes up is the Groucho Marks line. Uh, this feels ridiculous. I wouldn't pay it if I were you. It's all, it's all bubbly. Of course, it's a wonderful purchase. $1,198.69. Thank you so much. Thank Stay you. Well. Take care, Molly. Good evening. We are so excited. Jackie's back from Santa Barbara, and this time she brought a surprise for Pat. Goodies. Yummies. Uni, otherwise known as sea urchin, and Pat loves it. I love Uni. <clears throat> I'm trying. We're going to call this session Uni-versity. <laughs> Here is our sea urchin. And again, you question whatever 
caused a human being to try to eat this thing. These spines are really sharp. Okay, so these are sea urchin eggs, and a delicacy, uh, uni is a term in Japanese, uh, usually served with some rice. I've done an attempt to duplicate what uh, the Japanese restaurants do much more artfully than I do. And then we're going to have the uni with a very unusual for the United States, sparkling wine from uh, winemaker Ferrari in uh, Trenta Dock uh, in northern Italy. And we'll try the pairing together. How does that sound? That sounds good. Let's see. So I, I think. You think. So I'm now going to scoop out some of the eggs. And put them in. Okay, just a little bit for me. I like the rice. That one's a little too big. So we're taking the eggs out of the shell and just placing them on top of some rice that's surrounded by some seaweed wrap. This is a smaller one for you, Bernadette. Thank you. Don't eat it yet. I'm in no rush to eat it. Uh, Believe me. <laughs> I am. I've been eating them all, all along while Jackie's been uh, setting up. What we've got here is a bottle of sparkling wine from Trentadoc from the producer Ferrari. Uh, and no, they do not make racing cars, but they make spectacular sparkling wine. Mm, chocolates? Uh, I don't know if they make chocolates. They may. We'll have to look that up. But the wine is made of usual varieties from Champagne made like Champagne. There's a big difference in, in the growing conditions in Trento. And so it's near the Austrian border. The grapes are grown at altitude. There's much more sunlight than in uh, Champagne, though the grapes are grown in an area that's, that's fairly cool because it's so high up, okay? The grapes tend to be riper. There's very nice acidity, elegant, beautiful wines, and we'll see how this pairs with uni. Let's do this. Let's try the bubbly first. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful lemon fruit, mineral bright acid. I still have a flavor in my mouth. It's creamy on the finish, it's long, and it's very delicious. You take your chopsticks and reposit your uni. We're going to share our soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Should I eat it with my hands as well? Mm -hmm. I'll try it with the chopstick. So this is mm -hmm. slightly nutty. Mm. Creamy, rich, and very delicious. Mm. The last time I had it was without the seaweed and without the rice. It was a bit odder for me, strange. But you like it now? Yeah, with the soy sauce and everything else. Yeah, I love it. Pairing is delicious, isn't it? Okay. So what we're going to do, this is just a little intro here, because Jackie brought a big box of uni for us, which tomorrow we're going to harvest and make an Italian dish, pasta di ricci, which is uh, in Italian, sea urchin is ricci. We're going to have that pasta with the sibling, uh, the more expensive sibling of Ferrari, and also have it with a Pinot Bianco from Alto Adige in uh, northern Italy. Mm. So we're having an Italian wine, Italian dish. Here we have Italian wine and the Japanese dish. So just a little something to whet our viewers' appetites and um, we will be back. But in the meantime, enjoy. We will.